Hi, it's Bridget. Welcome to Above Life Channel. The purpose here is to inspire your spirit and to fill you up with hope. Today's channel is with Prince in the afterlife. And Prince is someone that has a playlist here at Above Life Channel. He, I have a lot of gratitude for Prince in the spirit form because he's the reason why Above Life Channel exists, truly. He's the reason because he is the one that I started channeling a few years ago who then eventually brought in uh, other spirits and opportunity to connect with others as well. I thought it was just a Prince thing and I didn't know how long it was going to last. I thought it was just me because I'm local. I actually live in Minnesota and I live about mm, under just under an hour from Chanhassen from Paisley Park Studios in Chanhassen, Minnesota. I actually, in co right after college, I actually moved to a little city right nearby there. And so it was about five minutes from Paisley Park and I literally drove by Highway 5, which you may see if you ever map quest Paisley Park or Audubon Road. I drove down Highway 5 to get to work a lot. So right by a Paisley Park studio, it's pretty cool, huh? At that time, I had no idea. That was like in the mid nineties, you know? So anyway, <sighs> let's talk with Prince. It's been a little bit of time. Again, he's got a playlist. So if you love Prince playlist, and if you love Prince, I actually have a, uh, website where I share a lot of my print stuff. There's actually a blog there from the very beginning from since he entered the afterlife. So from 2016 and I have vlogged, I have a blog there. Actually, it didn't vlog with a video, but I blogged with audio and writing. So you can visit that thepurplemedium.com website. There's a blog. You can just have a great old time binging on that if you want to. All right. So we haven't talked for a while. It's been a while because I've been doing a lot of stuff with um, some other afterlife folks and some series group groupings of videos and things with some other folks. So it's been a while. It says, it kind of says, I'm always around. Yeah, I'm always around. He says, it's kind of like you've been on tour, he says. <laughs> mm -hmm. He says, I saw you had some jasmine green tea this morning. I did, and it was awesome. Jasmine green tea, you guys. Very, it was very good. Yeah, it was. And then he's referring to that because in this cup, there's some coffee. <laughs> there's some coffee right now. But hey, the sun is shining. Hey, Prince, what do you feel about, what do you think about the weather in Minnesota? It's been crazy. I'm filming this video in 2009 at the end of February. And if you've watched the news at all, Minnesota's been dumped on, like, constant like every couple days snowstorms blizzards school closing the kids probably missed half the month of february in school closing which cramps my style for filming videos let me tell you how do you feel about that all that weather stuff he says huh? that's minnesota he says that's minnesota for you that's minnesota he says expect the unexpected he says and don't piss off mother nature <laughs> yeah basically right Mm. Pretty much don't piss off Mother Nature. I don't know. Oh, Prince, I have a weird story I was going to share you with you. And I was going to tell you guys, too. This is totally random and very interesting. So about two weeks ago, in the mail, I got a handwritten letter. And it was from someone from a different city, like south of us, about an hour and hour, hour, 10 minutes, probably about an hour. And it's called Faribault, Minnesota. And somebody there is a Jehovah's Witness and they must have had to like write letters to people to talk to them about Jesus or God um, and to encourage them, um, you know, to, I don't know, maybe be a Jehovah's Witness. I don't know. It wasn't really like a marketing letter, but it was literally handwritten. I don't have it anymore, but I held on to it for a couple of weeks because it felt really personal. And then I realized it's probably just a form letter because the person had my last name wrong and they said they were my neighbor and they're like an hour away. So I don't know. But I was gonna tell you that, I was gonna mention that to you because I thought, I had been doing so many channels with so many other people and you and I haven't talked for a while. And I thought, okay, this is Prince. He's reaching out to me. I'm like, he's trying to write me letters now through the other JWs. <laughs> I'm like, what? 
I'm like, oh, so I took it as a sign and then <laughs> that I should check in with you. And then you said to me, it's time for spring thing. Spring thing is a, a series that I do a virtual online experience with pre-recorded videos and audios and um, connecting to water and places um, near Paisley Park Studios and actually in Henderson, Minnesota, where the movie Purple Rain iconic scene from Purple Rain was filmed. And so there's water in those places. So there's a Minnesota River, there's Lake Anne, there's Riley Creek. And so we, he and I, uh, about a year or so ago, collaborated and created this beautiful series um, intending to embrace the water energy in the springtime in Minnesota and bring out energy within ourselves to help us to heal, to help us to clear our passageways that are blocking us, that provide resistance for us and open ourselves up to new opportunities and to more positive life experiences. And so we collaborated on that. And so I knew, like when I got it, I thought, oh, I gotta do spring thing. I gotta, you know, go in there and make it all pretty and get it ready to share because it's almost spring. I hope, I hope it's almost spring. Oh my gosh, I hope it's almost spring. He says, you had a lot of talking to do. You've been doing a lot of talking, something about talking. What are you saying? He says, I'm not saying nothing. You're saying everything. I know I'm chatty. I'm really chatty right now, you guys. I think it's just because I'm just like, ugh. I'm trying to get myself a little pumped up when the, even though it's sunny today, it just, I'm just so tired of the winter, you know? Many people who are in the Midwest or even on the East, East Coast that have gotten all the snow are just like, we're done, man, we're done. It's Minnesota. He says, <clears throat> uh, yeah, he would be in someplace else. He would be in California. He would be in like, he shows me like Italy or someplace beautiful. He said, I would be someplace beautiful right now. You know, that's what he would do. He would leave. He would have left by now. <laughs> so interesting. All right. So I was going to ask you, I actually wrote on a question I was going to ask you. Um, someone had asked me this on a comment on one of my other videos, and I thought it'd be a good thing to chat with you about. Do you... Can you explain what spirits do in the afterlife so I can explain it to people? He says, sure. <laughs> you know, I know. I don't know if I should say that. Um, he just said, I, I, mean, I tell you guys everything. So he just said, people are going to be complaining because you're talking too much. <laughs> I know. That's how it works. This is like a casual conversation with Prince. We're channeling, but this is how connection works, you guys. And it probably works this way for you. Pay attention. Pay attention to what's happening for you because it's probably exactly like this. So can you explain for people how, like, what do you do in the afterlife? He says, well, when you don't have a body, it's not about doing anything. He says, it's not about doing. It's not about doing. It's not about doing. When you don't have a body, you can't do much of anything, he says. Okay. I, I know I know what this is, but you have to explain this more and use your words, please, so that I can translate it more effectively. He says, Bridget, you want me to reveal the secrets of the universe, the consciousness, conscious awareness of the universe. Okay, you're being funny, I know. Yeah, you think you're so funny. Yeah, all right. Can you, seriously, come on. Can you help me out here? Help these people out. <laughs> I'm serious, please. Answer, can you answer the question and give us an example? He says, all right. It's energy. He said, it's energy. There's no, there's really nothing and there's everything. And he says, there's a movement. There's movement. He says, but there's not action, the way you think about action, you know. Mm -hmm. So how come, why is it then when I channel, because I had this question too, when I channel and I see you in the afterlife and I see other famous people in the afterlife and you guys talk about how you have been together or played music together or collaborated together, what's that about? Why do I get that information if it's not really like you're doing anything. There's no action, there's no body, there's just energy. How do you explain that then? He says, 
says, well, you're clairvoyant. Uh, yes, I, so that means I see. You guys, clairvoyance means psychic sight, you see. He says, you create a reality that makes sense in the translation of things. Okay, all right. He says, the movement is the co-creation of when multiple forms of spirit come together, we unite. He says it, it's, um, it's collaborative, but it's not singular. We blend together like harmony. We blend together like harmony, harmonization. I've heard that word a couple of times recently in other sessions, and that feels like a really good way to describe how energy flows and what spirit is like. Because there's no body, there's no restrictions, but so then how do I see like Elvis? How do I see Freddie Mercury? How do I see David Boy? How do I see you and John Lennon and all that? He says, whoa, 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 too many, too many people. He says, you bring it into a form where you can contextualize it. Then you see it. Then you understand it. So you bring it forward, you call it forward in a form that's appropriate for you to then describe to others. He says, we do it for you, Bridget. <laughs> like, okay. Prince is charming. If you guys aren't really into the Prince, he's charming. He's very charming, let me just say. He says, thank you. He says, this is how you know me. This is how you know me. He says, you know me as afterlife, as spirit. You know me very differently than the people who knew me in, in person, in a person as a person. He says in person would. So I've given you the opportunity to know me in reflection of my personal, what word is that? I can't tell if it's experience or expression. Expression, I think, in, in his personal expression. Because it's true, you guys, when I started channeling Prince, I, if you go back and watch the blog, the blogs, or listen to the audios and the blogs that I did early on, I had no clue. I mean, yeah, I lived in Minnesota, but that doesn't mean you know everything about Prince. That's not true. In fact, I was a, I was a Michael Jackson fan. And he knows it, it's totally fine. But... <laughs> He goes, oh, my brother, oh, my brother, oh, my brother. Like, he's like, oh, don't call him in, you know. <laughs> we had enough to talk about right now. Um, he says, the energy is constant. The energy is constant. The connection is always here. He says, it's always here. The, that's why the music is so important. He said, that's why the music is so special. He says, it's very... Um, the music is very sensual. It's like a sensational, sensing, sensing. When he says sensual, the music is sensual. It doesn't mean, he's not talking about like um, sexual or, or attracted or in, infatuation energy. When he says sensual, he means sensing reality is what he means, you guys. Is that accurate? He says beautiful beautiful words he's like oh Bridget because when I get the words right when he's like talking at a higher I'm an ascended master teacher helpful guide to you kind of he's not an ascended master he doesn't like it when I say that he doesn't like it when I use labels he doesn't like labels we all know sometimes he doesn't like labels or names for stuff right Mr. Symbol oh let's talk about that Mr. Symbol let's talk about that let's talk about that Spike Lee at the Oscars he wore all purple and he got a beautiful love symbol. It was like rich colors. It's like, it looked like fire. Like the love symbol was on fire. I love that version of the love symbol, by the way. It's beautiful. And if you guys don't know what it is, it's like a circle with an arrow pointing down and then a line across it. It's like male, female together energy. It's beautiful. And the newer version of it was like the symbol that he used. Then it kind of looks like it has an arrow across the side in a spiral. That's the newer version or the version he used for his um, name. Remember when he changed his name to a symbol? Totally cool and appropriate in the afterlife because everything's energy, right, you guys? So he doesn't like labels. He says, yeah, I didn't have a problem with my name. It was how it was being used I had a problem with, he says. The misuse of it and abuse of it, he says, was a problem. Okay, so talk about Spike Lee at the Oscars. Let's do that. That's a good topic. People have asked about that too. What do you think? He says, he's my brother. He's my man. He said, he's a good man. He's a good man. He said, he's brilliant. Brilliant. 
He says, the, the things in that man's mind is beyond, he's like beyond words, it's like Einstein-like, like the, the way he can create things in his mind and translate it into film, into story, and he said it's just beautiful. He said it's art. Um, there's a lot of respect, you guys, for Prince and Spike Lee, just so you're aware, a lot of, lot of love there, a lot of love there. He goes like this, like, like gives him. So when I see, because I'm quite buoyant, so I see, when, when, they, when spirit does, um, gives me symbols or signs or they do specific motions, it means something to me. It's like a symbol for me so I can tell you what it is. So he goes going like this, which means a lot of gratitude, a lot of thanks, a lot of love. It's like acknowledging the divinity and the connection, the beautiful connection between the two of them. So yes, lots of gratitude, lots of love. All right. That yeah, was cool, wasn't it? He says, you would have loved that movie too. The Black Klansman, you would have loved that movie. He said, oh, man, yeah. He said, man, yeah, yeah. He said, fascinating. Isn't that fascinating? Fascinating content. He says, we have a long way to go as society, is what Prince says. You, we have a long way to go. Okay, so you say we, so, but you're a spirit right now. So how come you're referring to, I'm trying to make this really obvious for people who have been asking me about this. Like, there's a lot of confusion. Well, how can they be people and how can they be spirit and how can you see them when you don't see them when there's not in the body and all this stuff so you say we why do you say we he says because there's there's ownership he said there's ownership we love you spirit loves you basically he doesn't say spirit he says we love you and when he says we he means collective he means the one source he means the universe he means whatever you know of as god or a prime creator or a prime source and a oneness energy he says we're all one of the same. We are the same and we're all different. He says many flames, we're many flames, but in one beautiful fire, like a bonfire, like a gorgeous, like a light and flowing and beautiful and generative energy, like flames is what he uses. That's a beautiful imagery. He says, thank you. He says, thank you. It's like artistry when he shows me stuff sometimes. It reminds me of like the old MTV music videos and how artists would interject their visions that they wanted um, to create, you know, to take the music to a different level and tell a story about it or bring symbolism in. And that's what it reminds me of. So it's beautiful. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. It is difficult, you guys, to describe the con the... I say this, the, there's not concreteness, there's not tangibleness about spirit. There's only what you know, and what you know in your heart, and what you know in your gut to be true for you is what's true for you, and you make it so. So you co create the imagery or the experience or the expression that works best for you based upon what you're believing and what, what you don't believe, quite frankly, because what you don't believe pushes out things. It eliminates things. So what you do believe is the focus, whether you recognize that or not. And so the more open we can be about afterlife and spirit, the more open we can be in our human life with ourselves because you are a spirit in a body, right? So Prince is a spirit without a body right now. He is not incarnated right now. You are not incarnated, right? Because it doesn't feel like you are. He says, no, I'm not incarnated. He's like, I got work to do. I got work to do. Mm -hmm. I know. So how do you have a voice? How come you're talking to me? And why sometimes can I hear some of your spirits and some are not spirits? And I'm not asking that for me. I'm asking that for you because I got comments about that. <laughs> Which is totally fine, you guys. You can ask whatever. I, I'm fine with that. I would want to learn too. So how come that, well, how come that is, Prince? He says, because sometimes she don't listen. She doesn't listen. If you know Bridget, you would know she does not listen. Nobody can tell, yeah, he's right. Nobody can tell her what to do. Just ask her husband, thank you. Prince knows my husband very well because we've done lots of channeling together and lots of transformative channeling as you'll see on the playlist. If you look at the Prince playlist, you'll see this version of channeling I do. I started it with Prince because I have a lot of trust with him as a spirit in the afterlife. We've shared a lot of messages and I've gotten to know him really well. He's just a wonderful supporter and great. He's a great guide, you guys. He's a great guide. <laughs> oh man, so he, he does know my husband and he knows my husband will watch this when he's doing the thumbnails and because he does that. I don't do that part. I don't, I don't do all the details. I don't do all the details. Like 
thumbnails. I, I, my husband does that. I, I just want to create the content. I want to make the videos. He does that stuff. I have other people that help me from time to time with other things. If I'm doing like a series or a class, I'll have people help manage the Facebook pages and stuff because I, the details are hard. And then if I screw up your name, don't be offended. I have like 15 people with the same names, 15 Lindas, 15, I actually have a lot of Dina, Deanna's. And I have a lot of, I mean, random, like you wouldn't expect it. You'd be like, well, my name's not unusual. My name's unusual. I'm like, no, there's a lot of people. <laughs> And, I'll, and I might screw it up. If your name's Patty, I'll probably call you Pam. I mean, that's just a Bridget thing. That's a Bridget thing, you guys. And it doesn't help. It does not help me at all when I'm channeling people, people that I don't know in the afterlife yet. You know, like Prince I know. You can't, how do you screw up the name Prince? You can't screw that up. It's very unique. But like if you watch any of my Freddie Mercury videos, oh my gosh. Paul, Peter, John, Mary, Larry, Harry, Carrie, whatever, you know, it's like, I, I can't, I just, oh my gosh, I'm not good at it as a person. And as you can tell, Prince says, the reason why I don't do clear audience, which is a psychic hearing, is because I don't listen very well. And he's right, I don't. I don't listen very well. I listen so much better with my heart, don't I? He says, oh yes. He's like, when you're in your heart, that's your flow, Bridget. He's like, yeah, that's your, that's your vibe, you know? I want to say that's my jam, but he's like, that's your vibe. That's like your station. He's like, that's where you tune in. He said, it's your heart. He's like, that's the best. He said, that's even, he's like, that's better than your vision, your clairvoyance. He's like, that's better. You know it too. You just have to use it more. I'm like, I know, I know. But it's hard to explain to people about clairsentience, which is the psychic gift of sensing and feeling. It's, and being an empath, being a sensitive person, because it's hard to talk about how you translate energy, which is the feeling sensing of it, and how it formulates into the proper words, the appropriate words to create and share the message that is being given in the spirit form through energy, translated into words to share so that you can receive it accurately, what the sensing energy is. And so it's tricky. It's like, that's why I say psychic work and mediumship is totally, for me, it's an art. I am an artist, I am not a scientist when it comes to this. I'm an artist and I recognize that I, not everybody's gonna like my work. And that's okay, princess. That's when you know you're doing it right. <laughs> you got to be right by you in right alignment with you, you know. Well, this has been lovely. Thanks so much for showing up and for hanging out. So thanks for inviting me. It's kind of like, mm -hmm, finally talking to me now. Huh? Finally talking to me now. He's like, mm -hmm. now nah, he's just teasing you guys. It's totally fine. Prince is wonderful. He's really active for me as a, on like a council like a group of guides that I have that I work with. He's definitely one of the, you would maybe say inner circle. He's definitely one of those. He's someone that I, I care a lot about as an afterlife spirit and representing the essence of who you are as a spiritual guide, as a healer, as someone who motivates and inspires others through music because that's the energy of the legacy that you connect with. So if you are a Prince fan, the music is the legacy and that's how you connect with Prince. And you can connect just as easily as I can. Listen to the music, feel, sense the messages, not just the tangible words that your mind can understand in the lyrics, but feel the energy of the music. What is the message for you in that moment? That's a gift, that's from Prince in the afterlife. And you can do that with any other musician that you love and adore. Okay, that's really powerful, you guys. All right, so I've been chatty, chatty McChatterson today. This is just the way it is. This is, this is who I am. So hopefully it doesn't annoy you too much. And if it does, I'm sure you'll post it in the comments. Again, I'm a little sassy today. I do read the comments as much as I can, and I try to reply to some of them so you know that I'm reading them, you guys, because I am. And I do appreciate your time. All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you check out the purplemedium.com website because in the spring here, I'm gonna be offering some things that are specifically Prince related. Then again in June, I'm gonna offer something for the fall that's specifically Prince related. So if you like Prince, follow the purplemedium.com website and I have a Facebook page where I post stuff. So if you don't wanna miss anything Prince, the Purple Medium on Facebook, I will share it there. I will also start sharing some of those things at Above Life Channel on Facebook 
and maybe on YouTube a little bit. I don't want to be like promotional. I don't want that channel, this channel to be that. But I also don't want you to miss opportunities and be kind of upset with me because some of you kind of get not very happy with me if I don't share stuff about my services. So there you go. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Remember the purpose here is to inspire your spirit to fill you with hope because this is your life. So live it. Thanks for watching.